Welcome to the Pro Cheerleading Podcast, hosted by Makiba and Brittany, two former NFL cheerleaders discussing hot topics in the pro cheerleading industry and revealing the truth behind the palms. Welcome to the Pro Cheerleading Podcast. This is one of your hosts, Makiba. And Brittany's here. And today we have a very, very special episode. It's our first episode on location. Yeah. Where are we at right now, Brittany? We thought it was Yakima, but we're actually in, shoot it over to Mickey, <laughs> Sunnyside, Washington. Awesome. It is sunny here. It it's is. Beautiful. 300 days out of the year. That's awesome. We have Mickey Moctezuma yep. as our very first special guest on our episode podcast so we welcome you mickey thank you thank you for having me mickey is <laughs> a what is her official title so i don't screw it up <laughs> um i guess it's kind of hard to say because i, I feel say like makeup extraordinaire yeah, I, I mean <laughs> artist makeup artist does yeah. not okay. even seem to do it justice oh uh, thanks but yeah. that is true makeup artist is usually what or beauty enhancer i like beauty to enhance yeah, yeah that sounds even better side, but you know mickey is like picasso everyone so <laughs> we have to really jazz it up because she's amazing at what she does today's episode is called she's got the look we're talking about makeup and the look of professional cheerleaders and mickey's going to break down the world of makeup in a way that nobody else can we had to have her as a guest so thank you thank for you yeah. thanks you. for coming thank <laughs> what was the first like uh what year was it that you and your team came over and there was three of you huh three uh, of there you was come? three of us okay. yeah and we came over what are we i think 2016 Okay. Yeah. Was that the year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys were really excited because normally the invitations kind of stay pretty local. Yeah, they usually stay on the West Coast. So they opened it up um, to certified artists just in the state of Washington. And um, me and my assistant at the time was Olivia, and she's an incredible, incredible artist. Yeah, and I thought, dope. we have to get our hands on this. This is this is definitely going to be fun. So, yeah. And, and what we we're did. talking about is the calendar, right? Yes. So I met Mickey at that. 2016 calendar shoot she did my makeup and did such a beautiful beautiful job and olivia as well came through she and did. baby trash yes that's yeah. right she did mine she did. See, that's what i'm saying there's something in the water out here because you guys are so awesome and i was so pumped that you guys came through yeah so baby so trash did mine yeah i don't know who olivia's did but then you met mickey that way yeah. Yeah. yeah so mickey i'm sitting there so when you have photo shoots you're sitting in a chair and the makeup artist you know is taking you from plain Jane to glam girl but Mickey would just sit there and tilt her head and study my face and I was like oh my god and Mickey has gorgeous eyes so oh my it's gosh. easy to be like look at me and you're like okay you know <laughs> thanks <laughs> but it was just one of those things where I was like what is she thinking about like what is she do and then I wasn't really like tracking with the mirror like what is she up to what is she you know but I was thinking you trusted me it was great I, I appreciate oh my that. gosh I, appreciate I was it. fascinated with how you I mean it was like an artist and then I was like I I cannot wait to see what she did. And then when you get the camera, or the mirror, not the camera, it's just like, whoa, this is... The camera was all up in there, too, though. <laughs> yeah, they were filming they everything. Were. The whole, they were. That they were. True. They didn't do that the day I shot. <laughs> they were like, whatever. <laughs> well, the funny part is when... Um, so Mickey does this masterpiece of makeup on my face, and then... I, we were at a mansion this day, mm -hmm. beautiful in Lake beautiful Washington. Mansion. yes. And um, my location was in a jacuzzi that clearly hadn't been cleaned, little Ooh. did I know. So, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking glamorous, looking fabulous, feeling myself. And in a I, bright green suit. And it yeah, looked gorgeous. Thank green you. Suit. Yep. Beautiful. We'll yep. put the link to the picture below. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm kidding. But we, so I'm ready. And I'm like, okay, because I do not swim, you guys. And not that it required swimming, but... I stepped my little foot into the jacuzzi only to take a shloop, like a full on like plop into the water and I probably look like somebody who's about to drown. And I'm the trying to get my foot made it slippery. Yes, it made it so and cleaned in like years because who hot tubs who around here? And the, yeah, so I'm sitting here trying to like stand up in the jacuzzi trying to get my footing and I slipped like three more times and, and you're everybody's not alone. like looking at me Yeah, like, you're not alone. Yes. Like stand up girl, yes. like what is yes. wrong with you? And I just had water. My hair got wet. My face got wet. And I was like, I'm Did you get water up your nose? Were you like sputtering? Like, <laughs> 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 no, I know. Thank goodness. But thank no. goodness. But I was just thinking, her whole Were you makeup laughing, must Mickey? Be draining <laughs> I didn't my get face. to see that part. I was actually, a, I think I was doing <laughs> oh, somebody else so at the awkward. time. Oh, my God. But awkward I got moment. a quick sneak recap peek yeah. when you were doing yours. I didn't see the slip, but I got a. 
I got I got actually a small everybody. little video too, you know. So it's cool. I got that. Yeah, I got that in my phone saved. I nice. thought I was gonna look slimy in a hot mess, but the makeup held perfectly. You did I even that was a time that I was asked to do like the walk under the sprinkler and dance what moves. yep yeah. i have that on video that's what i have on wait video. like splash water yourself no, no literally there's, there's a, a shower shower of water oh, coming okay. down yes. she got to like bathe and dance in it it was oh. great. not what i would have liked but um you gotta do what you gotta, you gotta you're do you're told you do. yeah. i mean <laughs> seriously honestly i don't think i do the wet girl look very well but i was thinking again my makeup's gonna melt off my face and it totally held <laughs> so Again, today we're going to be talking about the look and asking you a million questions, Mickey. But, but we start out with a little bit of <coughs> cheer chat, just yep. kind of what's going on in our world of professional cheerleading. What's up? Yeah, what's up? You said there's a big fan base of the NFL specifically out here. Yeah, I mean, if you kind of take a little cruise. Um, sports in general, okay. but I think that's a lot of 12s for okay. sure. But there's right. a, if you go around the neighborhood, you'll see a couple couple other flags around there. <laughs> that's cool. That's a good yeah. thing we're not playing because there might be screams going on. Right, yeah. by yeah. week. Yeah. Yep, yes. for <laughs> us locally. You can have a calm little uh, <laughs> week of cheer. But it, we also obviously cover things other than the NFL. So we have the NBA and NHL. Right. Their games are underway. Oh, yeah. yeah we, we saw, saw a great game last, last night. night. Yeah. You did? Yeah. did you, were you watching oh, the Lakers yeah. game? Yeah. Yeah, we were too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So there's lots of little action. Mm-hmm. Houston we'll, won. Yeah, they yeah. did. Okay. I stepped away for the last bit. Why? I don't know. But <laughs> did yeah, you see the fight, was, though? I did see the fight. Yeah, that was that good. Was Just coming flying through, <laughs> punching me on the back of the head. I was like, oh, yeah, this is good now. I bet that was probably a little tough for LeBron, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like his best friend and his teammates. Kind of like, uh, what do I do here? I wonder if the team felt like, whose side are you on, dude? You know, when there's a fight, there's a yeah. fight. And you, uh, yeah, you, you stick yeah. to your color uh, and yeah. your team. And yep. Or Lance Stevenson, I didn't know they were teammates now. It's like he was blown in his face a few years ago <laughs> yes, right. at finals, right? Or whatever they call it. Yeah, Super Bowl yeah. for basketball, that's yeah. what I call yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basketball's underway and yeah. hockey too. And so, there's actually cheerleaders for that. Did you know that, Mickey? I didn't. For but there's a yeah. big, um, in the Tri Cities arena, there's uh, that's right. hockey out there. So I don't know what, like, level, level. It, mm-hmm. it is but it's pretty popular out there yeah there's rumors that we're well not rumors it's confirmed we're getting, we're getting a professional but we've had semi right is it the blackhawks or yes and I then you guys right. have yep. one out here yep. so here. smaller teams but mm-hmm. i don't know what are you gonna do are you gonna i know they have a dance team be like i'm the director no yeah right i could never a lot of those girls ice skate that's true you know yeah they're cleaning the ice and they're also dancing and Oh, nice. Yeah. I didn't even think about how that would all go down. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So We're going to cool. have an episode dedicated to others. Exploring. Yeah, exploring NHL mm-hmm. especially because I'm curious. I, you know. And then NBA, why they yeah. call themselves dancers and not cheerleaders. They don't have pom-poms. And mm. Yeah, what, you think you're better than us? No, I'm kidding. Everybody's <laughs> equal. <laughs> <laughs> We're all one big cheer sister family. Yes. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, so, and that sounds interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to, to hear about that one. Yes, maybe. most definitely. Should we jump right into... Yeah. Let's do it. She's got the look. Mm. So who doesn't have the look, Mickey? Like, <laughs> <laughs> who cannot be saved? This is a setup question. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your um, philosophy to you make know, I believe... You know, I've, I've always stuck by, you know, creating an A-plus version of yourself. Mm. Um, that's definitely my motto when it comes to applying makeup, um, unless directed otherwise. Okay. Um, but, you know, I feel like everybody can be enhanced. Okay. For sure. I feel like everybody can be enhanced. There's a difference between enhancing and transformation. Yeah. So um, I think when it comes to the cheerleaders and beauty looks it's more of an enhancement versus a transformation transformations don't necessarily withhold um for a long day i guess you could say so when oh, we're okay. out there dancing in the rain and we're sweating and your hair's outfit changes yeah, and stuff and all that maybe the transformation look will look a little different pregame from the end of the game it'll probably it. transfer too so <laughs> yeah you know i don't know how well I'll put a little transfer a little bit for sure gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> well it's interesting because pro cheerleaders um you know we've talked before on other episodes just about the the image and the look and you know when i think nfl or any of the pro cheerleading teams it's just this very glamorous you know girl next door kind of natural beauty yeah Nothing too trendy in terms of like wings and I don't yes. even know what I'm talking about. Maybe yeah. we have to break no, it down. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. yeah. but you know, it's it's just very, like you said, naturally enhanced and there's obviously a very beautiful palette to work from. And everybody's beautiful in their own right, but 
you know, let's be real. There's some need a little bit more, more enhancements. enhancements. Yeah, yeah right. absolutely. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that when you came through to work for us where you're kind of like, oh, okay, I, I got to do a little transforming within this enhancement, you know? <laughs> um, you know, I don't, I don't know that I would say necessarily that, but there's definitely um, a, a diverse crowd of people. Right. Or maybe yeah. just um, problem areas, right? Yeah, you know, there's everybody has different features, mm -hmm. and there's definitely people that have more softer mm -hmm. um feminine features and there's some that have a little bit more androgynous features that That's you true. want to kind of soften up and like maybe me. look a little <laughs> <laughs> gender <laughs> beast <laughs> no no oh, not at all um but carve out but this chin <laughs> i remember i dated a guy and he was like you have like a very like I don't know how to say it, like German chin. And I was like, what German the hell? Chin? Or like a jawline, like a very strong oh, jawline. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm... contour up in here. Like, <laughs> never again. Yeah, you'll never see Round my jawline it out a again. Bit. Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay, back to your. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's great. Oh, uh, well, what brought you, like, what, talk, talk us through your career path and, like, how you. How you came to be a cheerleader? I mean, the cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> all well, you know, when I was in kindergarten, my oh mom my put me in. Um, good kids. No. <laughs> well, you do have a good rhythm. Your daughter's a dancer. She is you a know? dancer. So she's going to be a teacher. Teach her when I was younger, cheerleader. for sure. Yeah, she, she probably will do something. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. <laughs> probably my cousin she got it from, to be honest. Or her dad. But, uh, yeah, definitely. There's a little <laughs> bit of history in there in her bloodline. Um it's a long journey. I've been doing makeup for almost 14 years. In December, it'll be 14 years. Wow. Um, so it's been a long, long time wow. coming. But I actually didn't even wear makeup. Um, you don't need it. Oh, thanks. I was just yeah. going to say that. It's so, it's so true. Um, yeah. I didn't wear makeup at all. Um, and the manager at the counter at the time was like, hey, you should come work for me. And I was like, I don't even wear makeup or I don't even know how to put it on people. Were you a customer at that time um, or how did you even meet the manager? Honestly, I believe that she just, we worked alongside each other, um, in a different, she worked at Mac and I worked in a different department that were next oh, to each other. Okay. Um, and she just like, I feel like you'll change lives. I feel like Aww. you could change lives. Wow. Cause consider doing it. And I was like, I don't know, girl. I agree but with I, that. I, I have yeah. done, um. I took art in high school. Now, I'm not an incredible artist by any means like that as far as that goes. But um, I took art, so I understood, like, color theory and placement mm -hmm. and shading okay. and things okay. like that and understanding how to work in that um, form. So I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. And I ended up falling in love with the brand and just kind of really seeing all the avenues that they opened up for and went for all the certifications that I could with mm -hmm, the company mm -hmm. that they offered me. Um, and, and this I is got Mac, certified right? all of them. Yep, with okay. Mac, yep. So I got certified in all the ones that I can take out here. Um, and so, like you said earlier, um, we received an email for a certified artist to go do makeup for the Seagulls. Um, and it was something I felt like I just... I needed to add to my portfolio right. and, and my resume yeah, of, you absolutely. know, artistry. So... Um, I have to be honest, you know, after doing that shoot with you when I met you, I left there thinking, I don't know that I'll do retail makeup forever. Like, I Ooh. sincerely wanted to do, like, wow. Sports Illustrated yeah. type makeup. Yeah, yeah. It was can. so fun. Like, it, it was You have a gift, Nikki. Like, amazing. Seriously. It was just a great environment yeah. and uh, different, you know, just different, different diversity of people mm -hmm. and... It was a little tricky, though, I'm not going to lie, because it was hot that day. It was a very, very hot day, and it was a sweaty, right. hot day. So um, you have we to have think to of different advantage. type of makeup. Yeah. And you have to take a, um, For into consideration different type of makeup that you would put to survive those types of um, mm, elements, right? Elements, yeah. yeah. You know, one of the girls had to get into the water, so <clears throat> you also had to go through water, too. Yes. So really trying to create looks that would withhold being dunked in water, coming submerged in water, mm -hmm. coming out of water, oh, that's true. dipping your toe in water, whatever yeah. the case may have you. Um, we did some tattoo cover-ups and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And oh, that's right. You can't have everything so, coming off when you so, get wet. Yeah, so okay. it, was, it, was, it was fun. It was a good experience. How would you describe the difference between, like, um, you know, photo shoots or makeup for photo shoots versus, you know, bridal or runway or, like, is there a different approach for... Doing makeup for those types of there, you know, or? makeup sometimes can be so complex. I feel like um, I definitely think that there's different types of makeup for everything. I don't know that everybody recognizes that opportunity to look at somebody like maybe even age-appropriate makeup. Mm -hmm. um, True. 
Yeah. Not thought about that. You know, yeah. that there's definitely that. And then bridal makeup is definitely, in my opinion, is definitely something more you want to create timeless beauty, something that you want to be mm. able to look back in your pictures, you know, 50 years from now or 20 years from now, 10, 5, you know, trends change and go, wow, she looks great. That's why Marilyn Monroe's yeah. makeup looks still good now. No. Amen. Um, because it was just a classic look that would never age. And I look at makeup for brides that, that way. way. Okay. Um, and as far as runway, it's definitely more edgy, can be more edgy. Not necessarily anything that you would wear on a day-to-day basis. But there are some people that, you know, like to mm-hmm. we'll try jazz new things. Up. And, yeah, jazz it up and do different things and wear just a blotch of red across their no eye. eyebrows you know, or no something eyebrow, you know? yeah yeah the no eyebrow look or avant-garde yeah there she go that's it that's exactly it yep just like that so right. um but i think that for like pro cheerleaders it's like you guys said you know it's that classic just natural um almost bridal i mean almost ish. bridal yeah it is very ish i think it's just a little bit more well, i mean depending on the bride but it's mm-hmm. a little bit maybe a little bit more smoky but not black Thank so you. that's definitely we always got that a lot. We had direction <sighs> about if we were doing our own makeup, which we did quite often, is yeah. not to do anything too trendy. And I think now it makes sense not yeah. to black it out, make yeah. it too dark, too edgy, too trendy for the yeah. time. So yeah. that exactly. But we're also cheering like, you know, at huge stadiums, football, maybe potentially outdoors, and you're trying when I think like theater stage makeup where you're trying to create enough and I don't know, what I'm, correct me, just be like, you don't know what you're talking about. But <laughs> in my mind, I'm thinking like dimensions where you can see Absolutely. the makeup there, You from definitely like have to away. put more, more on, on. Yeah. but it's got to be strategic. You know what I mean? You're right. not just going to put like a black contour on your face because you want somebody to see your contour from the right. top of the... Because there's people close too, so they don't want, whoa, uh, <laughs> busted the house. <laughs> yes, I don't want to be yes, at this game yes, anymore. You want to be able to look appealing to the yeah. person up at the top and the person standing next to you for sure. It definitely so can look it's definitely yeah oh yeah you could definitely trans that's where transformations come in (laughs) yeah so my jawline you know served a purpose actually (laughs) 300 level i'm here yes 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 like my nose no oh Um, whatever gorgeous beautiful oh my gosh thank you um so you did the calendar shoot and like you said it kind of created just you know like maybe there's some other what's your favorite style of makeup or in terms of a look Mm. like on people or myself both yeah on myself I'm kind of um this sounds really weird but you know when in fashion shows if you're ever to follow like any backstage at Mm -hmm. these events most of them don't really wear any makeup and you probably would cross them on the street and not know that they're so so talented Um, I think that's the deception now with social media making everybody an artist Mm. is that, um, you know, artistry really just comes on your ability to be able to see something in somebody else and even yourself. Um, But for myself, I would say it's probably the more less is more Mm. type of approach. In general, I'd say the less is more probably Mm -hmm. Um, going back to really I'm just more of a I can do some transformations. I've done it. As a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, I did some. drag makeup and I haven't done it in oh, years wow. which was so that. fun um on somebody who had just it was the first time doing it and okay. they're um on a competition and that person actually ended up winning I'm like hey oh, because of awesome. awesome. yeah, you I mean, yeah. I like, <laughs> um so uh but in general I'd say less is more I'm, mm-hmm. a, I'm a less is more type of person and would rather enhance what's already there and make people feel like an a-plus version of themselves yeah, I, that's, I, that's awesome. I really abide by that I'd say yeah, but I agree with that point too, kind of not to veer off, but like with the YouTubers and the Instagram Seriously. makeup artists, it's like you can, I've only seen you do makeup on yourself. So that's cool, but could you really, you know, be hired for a wedding or for a photo shoot? Right. Not necessarily because you know your face the best. So it is really different it's doing a, makeup on other people. Absolutely. And it's knowing your environment and knowing um, what the final what's going to need to withhold, you know. Um, Going back to that day, you know, it was it was hot. So a couple of the people I did were directly in the sun. So yeah. I actually had to be out there de-shining them, touching wow. them up and that kind of thing. Um, and then there was a couple of people who had to get in the water. And you have to create a look that – and the products are slightly different. They're not all the exact same. Right. Um, so knowing, and I think that that is definitely something that an artist would be able to identify. But going back to, like, those YouTubers, I think mm-hmm. that some of them – 
um, maybe aren't prepared for those type of scenarios mm -hmm. and maybe would mm -hmm. not necessarily know. And some of it's trial and error. Sometimes you don't know like what, you know, the lighting is going to be crazy sometimes. Um, right. The last year that we did it, we did, we did it in a post office. So it was definitely um, yeah, a different. We, we work in extreme. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I did. That's when Baby Trash did mine. you did it in a. It's like a weird. It's right on the beach. But some company said, yeah, you can do the makeup in here. So they're like taking packages. And you're sitting there like <laughs> half and, naked. And a bright you know? window. Yes, yeah. Yes. It's so weird. Open window bizarre. with people you do what walking you gotta by. Do. Yes. It's not yes. always glamorous. Yeah. Folks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But that's so, another factor is you were hired. And so somebody had a visual like direction for you yeah and so taking that and being like oh my gosh I don't want to do more natural on her she needs eyebrows or you know yeah kind you know, of um, adjusting the direction I was actually um talking to Makiba about this at one point and um you know prior to going into that um scenario we were um given like some you know basic guidelines of what to what will be expected what not to be expected um and so when we got there we just kind of luckily enough or fortunately enough or maybe there was just came with the talent I don't know um I just kind of dove right in and said you know I'm gonna do what I think is gonna look the best on each and every person individually um I know maybe it, yeah. in other situations maybe there's a little bit more direction specifically catered mm -hmm, to each mm -hmm. person um that wasn't the case for us we lucked out and we were able to truly create individual looks um for each and every person right. and um, we got no constructive feedback. It was all positive feedback, which mm -hmm. was really great. And, um, you know, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of expecting to get some pushback on some of it because we didn't really wait for the direction. We kind of just, just said, do. okay, here's what I think is going to look That's right awesome. on you. And this is what we're going to do. And here's the color of your swimming suit. So let's like put this look together yeah, so that the whole picture the background the outfit you the hair and everything comes together as one um and that probably was my favorite i would say as yeah. far as um between the two years because we were given a little bit more freedom to right. customize each look um and i think that that's what made all those a pictures so calendar. yeah, yeah and that's why we're calendar. interviewing you is because you like <laughs> took charge and like that's unheard of for the person that hired you yes. to kind of like let someone else be like okay yeah do what you got to do and then still love the result yeah, like that's yeah, exactly. super it, powerful. Yeah, right? yeah. It and you're really, so sweet. We were shocked. That you're so like, we were like, what yes, I'm doing. We it could have been like, take it off. It could have, you know, it could have been. Yeah. And um, and it could have been like, you know, this is what we want everybody to look like. So I was really grateful for um, everybody involved to allow us to, because um, you know sometimes even the photographers will say, you know, like, hey, you need mm -hmm. to. This there's some dark shadows under her some, eyes. Yeah, or, you know, X, y, and, and they know too. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, we were just blessed with the most beautiful girls and we had a great product and a great location oh and God, um, we were given the opportunity to truly just do what we know how to do and I feel like it looked yeah. great it, it looked really, really was really it good. your favorite calendar was yeah. this the crooked toenail no <laughs> <laughs> Inside scoop story, possibly. <laughs> Should we reveal it? Story. Um, uh, we can say it was me, you know. No, no one's got to know. I mean, people should just, it's the truth behind the palms, right? So I'll be the truthful. <laughs> I'll be the truthful one. One year. Was this the year, though? No, this was not the year. No, that was, I don't the, think that was so. the year before. Yeah. Okay. The dreaded toenail year. So, Sorry. Um, <laughs> you know, I hate feet. And so I don't like people touching my feet. And um, I do my own pedicures and stuff. But can I do a French manicure on my own feet? Kind of no. And so, um, <laughs> you know, there's a product out there, guys, that says you can just press on some toenails. So I was like, boom, it's a French manicure. I've used them too. They're okay. super quick you know, and easy. Quick and easy. Here's Cheap. Your toenail. All that. Here's your toenail pedicure. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm telling the story. So I'm on a pool bed and I'm trying different positions. They were awkward. It was kind of like that sort of kind of like, I don't even know what you call that. Double Sit on your side hip. Side you know. hip with your leg bent and then put the other one behind you. And it was just awkward. And I, at some point. Contortionist. Yeah. yeah. Right? Is that how you call it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at some point, I ruptured a little fella on my toenail. <laughs> And I, it, it twisted. Broke, it twisted my toenail, and I don't know how you don't peep this in your editing process, but um, that was in the shot, like the shot that was chosen. It's so beautiful. It's just like, and like my tassels on, not tassels, what do you call it, fringe on my 
bikini were like blowing in the wind and then I look down and I'm horrified because your toes are toe. facing west but one's going north <laughs> <laughs> and but you know what nobody knows that but you it was year 2015 page five no, <laughs> that link will not be below trust, no. okay? but it was just I was just kind of like how do they miss this so the whole year when I signed my calendar I yes. signed over the little toe Boom, easy peasy. You know, I, I just... mean, I probably would have done it too. I'm yeah. Not lie. That reminds me of my daughter's obsessed with nails, like yeah. loves, loves nails. But she's in dance. She's a dancer and she yeah. does tricks and all kinds of stuff. And her coach tells me, and she's like, girl, every time she comes to practice, and bing, a nail yeah. goes somewhere. Like, it's in her hair now. It never, and like, it never <laughs> fails. The nail's gone somewhere. And I'm that like, oh, so this funny. girl and her nails. She loves it. So. Yeah, they're a quick fix, but they could be like disastrous <laughs> oh, at the yeah. same time. I, I had Lord. some on yesterday and I was paranoid. as going to put somebody's lashes or something on and one oh, would come no. off or something crazy. <laughs> totally. But they survived. They survived. It was great. <laughs> that is so funny. So it sounded like you had a really like fortunate like good experience with coming through the first time but did you have any girls that were like directing you on the side like oh I prefer my eyeliner this way and and then you're like okay well like I'll try to do it or you notice them fixing it on the side were you like (laughs) yeah like what is the deal with that um I try to take going back to being an a-plus version of yourself I definitely try to take um people's comfort into consideration you know Mm -hmm. I definitely don't want to transform somebody and then them have something crazy going on and then they don't feel comfortable they don't feel beautiful they don't want to take the picture um but I do think that you know they hire us because we are this is something we do every day day Mm -hmm. in and day out for some of us 40 plus hours out of the week sometimes even more than that um Fortunately enough, I would say for me personally, I never encountered anybody personally um, guiding Altering, my yeah. my telling you how to do my your job. Ma- yeah, okay. telling me how to do my job. Yeah. Um, but I could say that definitely in the session there was a little bit more guidance for the other artist, um, and it can get a little challenging for sure. Um, one, it takes up more time, and right. there's a time crunch. So yeah. we're given an a lot amount of time to get. Each girl out. Each girl in and out and Mm -hmm. anything that needs to be fixed and done within this time frame as as well as they're getting their hair done. Right. Um, right. So we're sharing a small space um, with two other people getting their hair done, sometimes two other artists, three artists, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. There's X amount of people. Um, So it does get challenging if somebody is constantly... um, Nitpicking and nitpicking, yeah, and with um, that mirror up, looking every five minutes. Yes, for what you're you know, doing so or did do this. I, I need you to fix it this, or can I see the brush and let me, you know? <laughs> no um, way, they do that. Yeah, I mean, that's it's happened. Definitely, it's happened where they'll grab oh, the brush no. and kind no. of fix it a little bit. Um, to me, that would be like no. Yeah, <laughs> sit down. I've never done that. <laughs> that's even when I get my hair cut, I'll just go cry in my car. You know, like I would never be like, I don't really like it. I yeah. just take what I'm given and push it along. You <laughs> know, I, you know, it, it kind of you know you goes too. back and forth. Yeah. You know, I mean, I definitely definitely don't want somebody if somebody's like ooh you know like what hey, how could that like, even let happen me know, you know? it you could know? happen well as a person a woman of color sometimes you know people don't know you're absolutely what right I've maybe they know how craziness. to do some certain I've you know certain craziness. shades and then when it comes to darker shades they don't know what they're doing or they get i don't know colorblind i don't know what happens and <laughs> so there might be times where you're just like what did you just do but i wouldn't i probably would i don't even know what i would do where you would just you know, well, they were like one politely scenario, remove yourself and we, fix it. One of the guidelines to stay within was like to not add really black. Mm-hmm. Um, so we respect that. I'm not a really big black user anyway, unless it's necessary or would call for that particular look. Um, I think like on one of the girls, I actually did black liner because for her it needed to be done. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, it's it's more challenging when somebody asks us to do something that we know we're not supposed to do. Ah, and that did happen. That. Oh, yeah, that did happen. It? Not to me, but it was to some, it was yeah. the other girl doing makeup. Um, it was like, can you darken this up a little bit more? Mm. Can you That's how I wear it. Dark? it yeah, like, it's, I usually wear it darker than that. And but what would you do if, like, you do that and then they're – you know, the person who hired you is saying, like, I told you not to do your yeah. darkening. You know, that's where, that's in my word. personal opinion, I probably would have maybe just been like, all right, well, let's get this cleared first before. Because Ooh, it's, see, that's it's yeah. harder to remove the makeup. makeup. Yeah, like, I can yeah. keep adding and making things darker or brighter or, you but know. taking that back is a but whole other story. taking it back is, like, start from straight, scratch. It, it, almost. And that, when you're in a time crunch, you got to. Right. 
be strategic about those types of things. So fortunately enough for me, everybody was very um, – they loved what you, that you yeah, gave them. You know, That's they were good. pretty open and nobody had, I mean, I tried to ask the right questions in the beginning, you know, try to get a feel, looked at some of, I did my research too, looked mm-hmm. at what they looked like before, I may have asked, you know, if you would have fixed anything or changed anything, would you have mm-hmm. preferred this or that? Wow. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. And a couple people, you know, were like, well, I would have preferred maybe a little bit more gold than silver or whatever. And mm-hmm. well, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and if that I mean, those are easy um, changes. So right. um, like from year to year. Uh, so I, that's kind of where I went for with that. Um, but you know, there's definitely people that have their own style and really wanted that to be shown in Mm -hmm. their, uh, pictures and rightfully they have the right to their own opinion. Me and Makiba were talking about how that, you know, Mac is plastered on the calendar itself after it's produced. Yes. So if somebody like goes over it in the corner and starts adding stuff and looking at a damn fool, <laughs> it looks like you did that. You, you know? know? And I, it's Hands funny off. that you say that because yeah. I do, uh, people, as a matter of fact, I did a girl yesterday and she said, she said something about like it looking crazy or not, not, not that what I did look, she's like, I just don't want it to look crazy. And I was like, I don't do anything crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, you'll go tell people I did this. Like, right. I'm only yeah. going to do what's going to look great out there because you're going to turn around and say, I did it. So right. Right. we're going to come to this agreement where I'm proud Absolutely. of what I put out and you're proud of what you're walking with and we're going to have a yes. medi- happy medium there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like you said, it does get um, – it that can get challenging um, with people who are set on a certain way of doing things. Mm-hmm. Um I think that, like you said, they hire us because we have a skill and a vision and able to take the whole picture of what's the background going to look like, what's your, um, whatever you're going to wear mm-hmm. going to look like, what are yeah. the accessories look compliment. like, all those things um, go together and complete the entire look. And when you want to alter those things, um, it can, can compromise the look a little mm-hmm. bit. Um, so if I could give any feedback, I would definitely say, you know, be polite with some of the alterations that you want to make mm-hmm. yeah. um, Ooh, to the so artist. Delicate, though. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. like, true professional. Do your research here. too, as a cl- potential client. Like, do I want to hire this person because this is their style? You know, yeah, definitely. Not everybody is as talented as you to where they can like <laughs> switch it up. You know, for right. each particular thing. Oh, you guys are giving me too much credit, but no. I just think no, that you know. The calendars is, is different than what you see every day when you go to a game. So mm-hmm, the makeup should true. be look a little different than what you wear every day on to your job mm-hmm. um, versus the calendar versus the game. So when you do come with specific um, direction on how you want your look to be, um, I think it's respectful to collaborate with the artist versus just fixing it or adding it and changing it yourself. Um, yeah. It's kind of. Would you say it's disrespectful? Uh, it could be kind it of is. offensive, I yeah, guess. You know, and, I, and to a certain extent, it could be kind so. of offensive. I'm okay with taking feedback. If you're really uncomfortable with, let's say, a red lip and you would prefer more of a pink lip like that, mm-hmm. I'm not offended by that. But um, if we've created a whole look and you're going and you going in change in. the whole <laughs> shape of something, then right. I'm like, okay, like, could we have talked about this before you, like, just went on and changed it? And I wouldn't even want to touch him again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, me and my little bratty self. But, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I know there was a one game. Um, and, you know, for game day, I don't know if you come over for games, but, you know, we have hair and makeup, but you're really only supposed to get touched up, but some girls hog it, but whatever. It's more like if you need help putting your lashes on or yeah. you feel like you struggle with you know, getting more full coverage right. for the base or something. They'll come in and, like, touch it up for it's you. It's supposed it's to be touch up. Touch up, touch, up, it, touch up. Some people hog it, so it's not so much touch up. But one time I got in the chair, and it was a very – it might have been a night game. I don't remember. I've experienced the same. Where it was it's just true. I got up from the chair, and because I, I don't do smoky eye well at all. I barely do anything well. But the smoky eye is why I sat in the chair and maybe put on my lashes for me. Um, but, you know, there was a very darkening of my eyes, very raccoonish – um, very uncomfortable, and I, I remember when I got the mirror yeah. in my hand, I almost wanted to cry because I was like, "This is—I look 
crazy. I remember coming to you mm-hmm. and I'm like, does this look? And it was like almost time to go out for the game. <laughs> and I'm like, like, how do you fix this? It was so frightening. I because it, frightening. it will affect like the game. Yeah. You'll be standing there like, oh my gosh, I look like an idiot or something. Well, there'll and be that'll that distract one picture you. in the photo gallery where you're like looking up and then you mm-hmm. look like a... Or you're on the screen. Oh, and you're like, Girl, who is that? Who is that? <laughs> you're like, who did that? And yeah. I, I did not know how to fix it. I felt guilty even touching my makeup because she had, you know, spent her time in doing it. And I was really appreciative, but I was just like, I can't go out like this, man. So you could just say, you know, next time if you're ever in that type of scenario in any makeup, you know, uh-huh. can you soften this out? Soften the Even edge. Even if somebody else had hopped in the chair, because it's such a, like, runway, like, you know, get in, get, get out. in, get out, and somebody else was in there. It wasn't like I could go back to her, so I don't know well, what I did. Well, it's different to because... I know who you're talking about, and yeah. I experienced the same thing. It would be like, I need help with my lashes. And then they'd be like, oh, honey, boo-boo, no, 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 let me, you know, you're doing this too far down, and, like, you know, your eyes are this and that. Like, let me change it. And they're, like, wiping stuff off. And you're like, okay, I kind of just asked for <laughs> lashes. <laughs> Please stop altering my eyes, you know. Right, And right. so it's kind of like flip side you take offense like so what you think my makeup's busted <laughs> i i know how to do it yeah. for game day you know yeah. like and then you go back and you're like ah you know what are they doing and then you don't have enough time to really try exactly to fix it it's super awkward it i feel awkward. awkward and guilty like she's never gonna do my makeup again because you know they take the pictures and they're looking at you as you go uh-huh. out and i know i have to try to do something i don't even know what i tried to do <laughs> to soften the black eye look but um it's it's uncomfortable. You definitely want to be respectful. And yes, and polite, that's where I feel like it, it, you know the right questions come into play. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, if they're experienced and they've been doing it for a long time, I feel like maybe that's something that they should kind of already know and respect. Yeah. Um, but if it's somebody new and hasn't necessarily done those types of events or um, makeup for um, the mm-hmm. girls, yeah, then they wouldn't know necessarily, you know, where to go from there but I definitely think that you know asking the right questions and saying like you know what are you uncomfortable with yeah and then going from there yeah yeah, or you know if it's um like an example there's um somebody that we did makeup on who has a very beautiful girl a little bit more androgynous and often in her pictures um they do a lot of dark black around her eye Mm -hmm. um and in my professional opinion I don't necessarily think that's as complimentary to her um, and they, her brows are darkened in a lot, and they're already naturally full, naturally dark. Mm-hmm. Um, prob- she probably doesn't even need any product in them, right. to be honest. Um, <clears throat> so when it came time to doing her makeup that year, um, I gave the other artist some suggestions, and I was like, let's let's try to not Soften. use any black. Let's mm-hmm. skip all the black in general, yeah. and let's go with what's going to really complement her eye color and her eye shape and really just kind of soften up Mm -hmm. her look. And um, looking back, nothing against anybody else, but I definitely think that it's probably one of her best images I've ever seen. She looked so phenomenal. And it's a minor tweak of taking out, like, that harsh black liner that just wasn't complementing. It can be masculine. I mean, the new trend of makeup has really come from... Mm -hmm. Like it's drag. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Well, the contour I mean. and the highlight right. came from drag. Well, even bold Making brows are very looking. popular right now. Yeah. Well, there's a difference between like a bold brow and a very like sculpted brow. Mm-hmm. You know, um, uh, mm-hmm. like uh, a, one of the girls that I work with has naturally a very bold brow. She doesn't need to fill it in. She looks phenomenal, and that's mm-hmm. a trend in like a lot of places and then there's people who have a bold brow naturally and then they fill it in more and then uh, it looks almost aggressive yeah uh, oh yeah i know that <laughs> and that's a, you know you don't necessarily you kind of want to avoid that unless you're really trying to intimidate yeah. somebody but you know like that darker aggressive brow yes. can you with know the not, ma- not necessarily be up. A flattering when you're wearing the most like elegant swimsuit and some earrings and yeah. you know like and you're on a beach just and trying to look, be like i was woke and you up look like mad this. at somebody yeah, because right. your brows are too dark you know um so <laughs> that's sultry I mean, <laughs> sultry mad <laughs> so, yes i'm angry yeah i'm taking advantage oh no, my god take that out <laughs> <laughs> but yes you know there's there's definitely ways that you could it could go south fast if yeah. you don't know where to put certain things or yeah what type of tone to put it with so that's very true mm-hmm. and now you've kind of been discussing this already and i think i know your answer it's going to be kind of like catering to each girl yeah but have you ever had somebody come through out here in yakima at the max store that's like i'm auditioning for you know the seagulls over on the other side would you like what advice do you give them 
or how do you cater their so makeup I to? I haven't necessarily had them you haven't audition had that? for that, but I've definitely had people that have like ran for um, like Miss Washington, oh, oh, Miss wow, okay. Yakima, mm-hmm. or yep. Yakima County, that kind of stuff. Um, Would you say it's kind of similar to the NFL cheerleader look? Or see yeah, how I is mean, it different? I think that it's, you know, it's definitely catered mm-hmm. for sure. You no, no two people look the same. I mean, obviously, unless they're twins or something. But yeah. um, you can't just take a like a makeup mask and then like stamp it on someone else. That's not how no, it works. No, because you know? everybody's eye shape, lip shape, cheeks, sh- every the structure of everybody's mm-hmm. face is so different. Mm-hmm. Is so that what you're thinking about when things. you're like yes. looking like yes. Picasso? Like yes, okay. Okay. yep. And it's funny that you said the hell- head tilt because yes, um, <laughs> a, a girl I work with, she doesn't work with me anymore. She's mm-hmm. like, I tell everybody you taught me and tilt your head. I'm like, I didn't teach you to tilt your head, but it's just the thing that Habit, I do. Yeah. Have it. You know, you just got to look at the symmetry because it com- mm. it's symmetry. You know, you can change right. and alter somebody's face by adding something, you know, in mm. the wrong place. I did a oh, girl, wow. too, um, one year that had naturally just deep set eyes. Um, and I think that it, for a brief moment, they wanted me to make it just a little bit darker. And the artist in me was like, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I, you might get mad at me, but it's going to make her, it look even more deep set in the photo. Mm-hmm. And, and it's not like going to compliment her eye. Effect. Yeah. The so, place. Um, yeah, I was gonna like say. I said, fortunately enough, they were like, okay, you know, I I see like, let saying. me shade some other places and I can enhance this. You know, we've got some great lashes on. Mm-hmm. Um, lashes change everything, by the way. Do like, they? lashes can make really? the crappiest artist look like the best one. Let me just tell you. Wow. Um, but. Yeah, so going back to that look, I think with those types of makeups, you want to look timeless, but you want to stand out a little bit. I, mean, mm-hmm. um, I think that having a little bit more of a bolder lip, not necessarily like a bright pink or a red or anything like that, but like a stained effect, you know, people are naturally drawn to it. Mm. Um, I actually read an article that said if you have a red lip on that people are more keen to listen to you. Whoa. And and it retain. So try that to an interview. Yeah, go <laughs> interview with the red lipstick, or you'll get the job, and you'll get the job. Um, <laughs> Finding the right red it would be challenge number yeah. one. Viva oh Lam One would look great on you, by the way. Mac Viva Lam One. I'm gonna write that, that, that down. Look <laughs> that would look good. It looks good <laughs> on a lot of people, but that one would look great on you. Oh, please be uh, the Yeah. So I just think that when you're t- for auditioning for that, mm-hmm. I mean, it's uh, highlighting the the right places. Mm-hmm. Um, I think highlights are definitely fun and beautiful, and I think mm-hmm. that they look great in auditions. I'm pro more of a bold lip or something a little bit more um, vivid. Mm-hmm. And I think just shading lightly in the right places. Because overdoing it, you want, especially in this scenario where you're auditioning for your skill, I'm mm-hmm. assuming, right? Yeah. Um, you don't want too the much makeup because then they're not going to pay attention to what True. you're doing. But you want th- you want to make a statement impact, mm-hmm. yeah. When mm-hmm. you walk in and you want to look like I'm here and I'm confident oh, yes. and I look great, and so I think enhancing those things, those features that make you look phenomenal, is only going to mm-hmm. help you get. I love get that. The look. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. It is true. I remember. Yeah. I don't remember what year that I started to just instead of worrying about makeup for f- auditions because you got you know two days to figure out your final routine. And you don't really have a lot of time. And I was like, the day of the audition, I don't want to be worrying about my makeup. Like, I can do my hair, but I'm getting my makeup done. Mm-hmm. I'm over it. Yeah. Leave it to the professionals. Just, and it made a huge difference in terms of just, I felt ready. Mental clarity. I felt on. I didn't have to, it, you know, you just have the look. The look is, uh, is done. You don't have to obsess about it. It's just all technique and dance and getting your... Right, because that's not the skill that we're bringing to the table. It's yeah. supposed to be our performance and our dance skills, right? So, yeah. like, makeup. I was telling Makiva in an earlier episode, I put bronzer all over my face the first year I auditioned because she said, powder your face, the lights are bright, and I'm over there looking like the Tin Man. I had no idea. <laughs> like, I just didn't know, like, oh, okay, I, mean, I need to put powder on my face. Like, no, it was bad. Face, but... It was bad, girl. I'll try to. <laughs> like, but you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to. It was Gosh, very yeah, awful. It's, but, it's strategically you know, placed, but yeah. yeah. You know, we, we don't learned. necessarily know that stuff going in no. or even years with, you know, practice or seeing makeup on ourselves. You can't replicate that. 
you no, know, you I need tried, Mickey. Yeah, exactly. Everybody <laughs> get a hard. Mickey in your life. I'm it's a good hard. teacher, though. I can teach Absolutely. some stuff. You know, yeah. I can teach some good class. makeup. Yeah. But speaking sure. about, like, talent and auditions, um, you know, I'm trying to put this delicately, but it seems like there's... If you're a cheerleading director, I'm sure you're trying to find the perfect balance of great looks, great body, and, you know, and abil- dance ability, right? But... Do you think that there's like that point where you're really just trying to sacrifice one before the other in terms of just thinking makeup can save the day? I'm going to get somebody who's not. Hey, you know? somebody has made the, a lot of people have made the team on their looks alone. Let's be real. True. So maybe your look is your talent <laughs> and you're just going <laughs> to clap it out and smile. Or, or what I mean, if, or fake what it till you make it. Exactly. That's or what I did. Or the fake it till you become it. There you oh, go. Oh, I the love that. Fake it you become it. But there's also the flip where there might just, you know, be a phenomenal dancer, but. We've seen know, that too. That face though. Yeah. And makeup, you know, can. And it's not even just like, oh, you're not pretty. It's more like she's asked them multiple times in front of people, like, hey, you need a little bit more glam makeup. And they kind of don't listen. So it's like, well, mm-hmm. you can't think, see that you, you know, have eyebrows. Is a, it can get tricky. really tricky. You know, I mean, you don't want to offend people. You know, right. the idea we're in a, a generation right now where we're uplifting females and, and empowering us to, to be who we are and right. look how you, how you want to look. look. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. You know, so sometimes, you know, if you somebody's like constantly, I mean, when I first started with the brand, I'm not going to lie, there was a, a specific person uh, above me who suggested like dye your hair, dye your hair, dye your hair. And I was like, dye your hair I, what? I, I was like, first of all, you hired me like this. Like, don't tell, tell me to change who I am because now I'm hired. Right. Like, right. then why didn't you tell me that in the beginning so I could have decided whether I wanted to be. Mm. a part of mm-hmm. this or not you know mm-hmm. um so i was slightly offended because i was like what's wrong with how i look right. like what you know so i don't i understand the but and uh, on the flip side i've also been a manager so i know where i could i could see an opportunity where i'm like girl if you just did this one thing I, it will change, change your, life. your life i <laughs> swear on it right, you know right. um and i'm confident in it so it's never to like belittle somebody it's really to uplift them uplift them but understanding that you know mm-hmm. there's got to be a happy medium of going okay right. so like you said you mm-hmm. have no eyebrows so maybe you don't want to have that instagram eyebrow but maybe take a brow gel to make them look a little bit more pronounced, pronounced. Mm-hmm. i mean eyebrows are the frame to your face mm-hmm. so you know frame the picture and make it you know it's a pretty right. picture you gotta yeah, put yeah. it in a frame right you don't right. just stick one up with the thumbtack on <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's on a the beautiful wall, analogy. you know, you but you put it in a nice frame, oh, so definitely not frame it. <laughs> <laughs> and you but, could probably see like the direction they're trying to go. Like, oh, you know, she I could see that she's trying to do the contour look, but the color's too dark. Oh, like, hey, girl, right. if yeah. you use this color, it'll yeah. it'll get the look you're yeah, going for. Absolutely, but not, yeah. yeah. You're missing absolutely. the mark a little bit. Yep. So kind of like yeah, and guiding people because you know there's yeah, just so the much key. product out there. You know, there's True. so much product. It's confusing. And what looks good on everybody or one person is not the same for the next so that's a little bit challenging mm-hmm. too um in not to go back to what bring up old stuff i guess but um the second year we were guided a little bit more on mm-hmm. a specific lip color um and that like the first year was a little bit more uh, we had more free range and we definitely customized each and every one like i can mm-hmm. say yeah none of the girls we did had the same lip on um because they were all wearing something different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the different s- scene was different. You know, some people were on a chair. Some people were in the grass. Some people were in the sand, on a boat, like in the yeah. water. Mm-hmm. Um, so all of those things are going to create different looks. Um, but the following year, we were given a little bit more direction on something a s- more specific color. And my only issue with that is that the the palette needs to be bigger. The the color palette needs to be larger. That um, actually, should we bring it on into our locker talk <laughs> topic? Have, you know, this, it's, you know, when you have a diverse team of people who have different hair color, different skin to color, different, you know, ethnicities, mm-hmm. um, the same color isn't going to look right nope. on every single one of them. Um, Why is that so hard for people to understand? <laughs> <laughs> it, is. it is hard. Yeah. It is hard. So, you know, I, I may have sneaked a little bit of change in some of them to, mm-hmm. to, better, fit, to better fit yeah. them. Yeah, for sure. Um, but if I could give any feedback on that, it's definitely don't cookie cutter. 
uh, to one lip color. Um, Just for the sake of humanity, don't (laughs) do it. I mean, there's some colors that could look good. Like I was telling you, I love Viva Glam 5. That Mm -hmm. color to me, you could pair with any lip pencil and it would alter it to every single person. And it's amazing. It looks... But um, particularly the color that was picked isn't necessarily a color that looked phenomenal on deeper skin. Right. Um, or even more like olive skin. So. That was disappointing. It, it is. Yeah. It's challenging. I mean, yeah. not that it's, I mean, we, we, as an artist, you can kind of make anything work. I've learned to work with the most minimal product and make somebody look fabulous. But if you have the opportunity to not have to narrow it down to one color, yeah. Uh, I would definitely say broaden it to maybe four or five yeah. um, and leave that option open a little bit so that each person looks their best and still is in uniform, right. but is catered to each person because not everybody looks the same. And it, it, I don't mm. know. You should just all just, shouldn't wear the same good, lipstick. No. I don't know. I'm just not with that. But yeah. I'm well, not the director or anything like that. So no. I mean, you, just, but you should be opinion. like a consultant for the team. Like they should have that just like we should have like – you know, a designated fitness person. There should be somebody that like caters the look for each year because it could be different. Like you said, the team yeah. can be different, and you know, don't just. And there give might be something that's better out there lipstick. too, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we, um, our squad did have a squad lip color for game day, which was a bright um, fuchsia, fuchsia, magenta, pink. pink. Um, girl about town, and I was wondered about that. Why <laughs> that color? But we have no idea the history of girl about town but it's, it's a beautiful color it's one of the I, first lipsticks i ever owned but i didn't i always wondered why it was that, that color. color probably something bright and bold enough for game day i would imagine just like so that your lips stand out absolutely Cause, because um, you know what if you have a nude lip on it can get very unilip like mm-hmm. or floating lip uh, so you ooh, don't it's either all it. teeth yeah. or like you know you you, you need see something the, your mouth frame for sure your, yeah yep well, you guys actually did my makeup for my wedding yes, a few months ago, and that yes. was the best advice because I've always loved, like, nude lips, and you guys were like, hey, like, it's your wedding, don't. And I'm so glad I went with the other color yeah. that was more, like, rosy. And Sometimes it it's awesome. hard to convince people because yeah. they're mm-hmm. comfortable with trust. what they're. Yeah. But, you know, it's going back to that knowing, like, what are you going to look like in that picture in 10 years from now, right. and right. are you going to be happy with no what lips that look, no that's not, you, know, I, I, you know i you learned that the hardest you way because I, <laughs> I i i wore a nude lip one year and i went to go visit some friends in seattle actually and we took a bunch of pictures and after this was before we had camera phones and i developed the film and i was like oh shit why and there was a sharpie coloring your dude, lips in or... oh it's the worst and i feel like i naturally have like just naturally full yeah. lips so oh, yeah. to see my oh, picture geez, and have like oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um to see my mouth and i was like all teeth i was like oh my i can't even post these anywhere i was so embarrassed i was like Ugh, i bet you still looked never, amazing but... no girl i'm telling you it was all it was no it was terrible and from that point i was like never again Will I ever do that type of when look? When is nude ever lip again? ever a good idea? You don't like nude lip? I, well, nude lip doesn't work on me. A nude lip think. is okay. But so like, with you know, makeup, it's ideally mm-hmm. it's you. Instagram trend has trend has changed makeup temporarily. I think that's my personal uh, you opinion. Help it, I hope yeah. it's um, I was raised in a makeup era where you focus on one feature and then everything else is to enhance that one feature. Mm. But now with trend, you know, it's a everything. bold brow, <laughs> bold eyeshadow, bold contour, bold lip. Like everything, everything. is there. Like you said, um, drag, it's, more drag. Yes, yes, wow. it's definitely more drag. Um, so I like to do more. So I feel like if I'm going to do a smoky eye, I would do more of a nude lip. But I would definitely pair it with something to create some dimension around, dimension it. around like it. Like a liner. Yeah, mm. definitely no, liner, right liner. Not a nude liner because it creates that floating no mouth oh, lip. So that's the trick. Okay. Darker yeah. liner. So a little okay. bit darker liner to create the, the shape. Line. and Okay. So that you still have a mouth because it's quite frightening without. But That's what I think. But of the I nude lip yeah. is kind of more, um, I don't know how to say this without being... I want to hear it. Tell the me. Truth behind the palm. Yes, <laughs> it's definitely us. more of a like. Um, I guess we call it the porn star look. Oh, it oh. is. It's more like of the porn yeah. star. Do a circle around with liner and then like yes. light. So I never not thought that about she's that. a porn star, but you know, Pamela Anderson is a good example. No, yeah, the dark and I think liner. What's her name? Uh, Bridget. 
Bardot? Like, yes. Yeah. She was known for the dark smoky with that nude, nude oh. lip. So it's definitely more the like the okay. porn lip. The porn so anytime lip. I do it, I'm like, yeah, I love, and I love <laughs> me a porn lip. Don't get me wrong. Like I totally yeah. do. Oh. I totally do. But you know, I mean, you can't be a porn star every day, can you? No. Well, I mean, I'm just like, <laughs> oh yeah, right. I mean, my personal or maybe life. at night, just <laughs> yeah, that's you know, true. only for a shift, right? right. You yeah. Do it the whole day, right? So you got to have an alternative. You yes. can't. Oh, yeah. I love that. I never thought about it I like never that heard it either. Truth behind well, clearly, I haven't had a porn star lip and I have to hook me up Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good one for you too we, yeah. Yeah, we can make something happen we oh can make gosh. something happen oh, I love too this funny. there's so much there yeah. so yes. now, when you wear like a darker smoky eye and that bright pink lip it's, it's a bit a little, much a little bit it can be it can yeah. be well that makes yeah. sense well there definitely was also for our promo appearances another lip color that I don't think was definitely as complimentary on everyone it was more it looks great on everybody else, but deeper tones. I didn't like it either. You didn't like it no. on you? I don't even know why I didn't like it, but maybe it was kind of because it was more on the nudie, so I felt like it was floating, like you said. Mm, that okay. was like the color I especially felt that, okay. where I was like, my lips look weird. They just looked weird. weird. Um, what was ours? Like Fanfare. Yeah. And then for the deeper skin tones, they picked Chatterbox, but it still wasn't right. No, well, no. Chatterbox just was, was a hot mess before they got to Fanfare. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately. Chatterbox, Chatterbox is a pretty color, but I don't. I wouldn't personally pick it as a uniform color, like one for everybody. Right. It's definitely not. Well, they did. They sure did. It's a, who picks them? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, you know <laughs> maybe it's. I'm like, who picks them? I don't yeah. know. But maybe they need a. Who do all the directors collaborate on, like. They do have an annual meeting. And do they decide together, kind of like this is a. I think I each know, team, team, it's like for them team. to share their ideas, oh, but okay. I literally think that any colors, like uniform, like final decision was, is left to the director mm-hmm. of, at that time. So for uh, some reason, someone consulted or she picked the color. That's oh, how yeah. we ended up with those colors. But Gat has been like, Girl About Town has been like the color since I can even remember. Yeah. Like, I don't know it's when that started. Color. It it's is definitely beautiful. a beautiful color. It might've been the new, I mean, the new new shade to that launched and it was like oh this is great and then you stuck with it for years and never did a little refresh of seeing what else is out there that might be you know just as effective but I didn't mind Gat. Chatterbox before they got to Fanfare and even Fanfare for me was just like no yeah it was pretty bad yeah I personally probably wouldn't choose because there's another thing to take into consideration that I don't know a lot goes behind makeup it can be very complex Mm -hmm. Um, and I understand trying to narrow it down to specifics but like let's take for instance your natural lip color Mm -hmm. so when you don't and your natural lip color Mm -hmm. and my natural lip color it's gonna alter how a color looks so it could be complementary to somebody or just not complementary at all the undertone choosing yes so choosing a lip color with some of those undertones that I've seen, I'm yeah. like, I Ouch. don't know if it's as complimentary to right. somebody with maybe a more pigmented lip, naturally pigmented lip. Um, that, yeah. plays, that plays a role. It's a game changer. It right. can be. Or like some reds or whatever can make your teeth look yellow while mm-hmm. some can make them look white. You blue know, so the blue make them yeah. look more white. Gat was right. definitely a blue it's fuchsia. A blue, it's a blue per- pink, yes, yes, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So it was flattering for the yes. most part. And it yes. was so bold it that is. it could cover yes. up and that any is a color. Great color. It really is a great color. And it was, had a lot and of pigmentation to it. So you know? it was definitely, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. I think they should consider D for Danger sometime. It's such a Ooh. pretty color. I'll have to check that Ooh. one Write out. Write that down. So. We're going to have that in the link below. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's such a pretty color. Like, D you for would, Danger? You would love it. You would love it. Ooh. It's like, what does it look like? Is it a miss? pink one? No. I would say it's like a... Mm, that's a hard color to describe. But I would mm. say it's a form of red. It's okay. considered a red. Okay. But it's not like vivid. Okay. Bright red. So it's more muted. It's a burgundy. Deep, not burgundy because it has like a bluer base. Okay. Bluer, pinker base. It, mm. I would say it's almost as if you took Girl About Town mm-hmm. and mixed it with a burgundy and they made a baby oh. and it would have been I'm that one. It. Yeah. Okay. So that would be. I'm already like, feeling it. And that's why I love mm-hmm. that one. That I it's more muted. It's not like in one. your face like that. But it's still bold. bold. That sounds it's bold. It's so pretty. Like so. I just think that, like, you know, think about 
when you talk about makeup, I mean, you could just, there's so many yeah. avenues. We could go forever. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, maybe when you get into, like, December, like, mm-hmm. maybe changing it to, like, that color. Because oh, it's that's more cute. season. Oh, season. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. you change your palms and things like right. that, too. You know? Like, why not Very change true. the lip color a little Especially bit? Especially based on the uniform. Like, I don't think our makeup was really ever based around, like, what uniform we'd be wearing. Right? True. I mean, <laughs> and it could have been. And it could have been. Maybe because, like, been, with those action green. green. And, oh, God. Acting, Action yes. Green and Girl About Town. We literally Woo! looked like, I don't know, gymnastic Barbie. Like, <laughs> huge hair, bright lips, bright outfit. Yes. Like, yes. It that, crazy. That's a good one. That's yeah. a really good way to Super describe tan, it. Super tan, almost yes. orange. Like, yes, yes. so much going yes. on. Oh, so no, now I'm doubting my whole, like, career choices. <laughs> <laughs> How did I allow this to happen? <laughs> we have yeah, I hate those you guys look. You guys look so great. And honestly, it ends up coming together just fine. But if you wanted to, like, to really fine-tune it, yeah, you could definitely tweak it to the outfit, the season. Mm-hmm. It sure. could definitely because we're getting just into all those. It. Yeah, yeah. We're getting into all of the darker colors for the winter uniforms. Yeah, and Santa that's outfits. where I think that mm. that D for Danger would look so pretty with right. that Santa but outfit. But like summertime, oh, do the gap because yeah. it's yep. bright. And yeah, yeah. yeah. It, totally. Or when it's breast cancer awareness, that pink is perfect. Right, you that's know? true. Right. But but switch it up. There's a little definitely bit. different ways to switch it up and have multiple colors that. You could play that, around that with match everyone, yeah. all skin tones. Yeah, yes. play this episode at the annual directors meeting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For Get real. some ideas. Hire yeah. Mickey as a consultant. Yeah, yeah. consult. Yes. <laughs> Hire a makeup artist with good experience. Yes. Yeah. Well. My stomach's growling. I'm ready for minors. <laughs> oh, I, I don't blame you. Oh, my God. Minors is the plug. It yeah. really we is. We will not be leaving the area without stuffing our bellies with some curly fries and oh a huge gosh. burger. And a shake. And a shake. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. And they sell like a side of nacho cheese for your fries. Uh, forget about it. Okay. It's so I'm delicious. Doing that. Okay. Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so awesome. Yeah. Thanks you guys so You're much for much. having me. It's so nice to hear your perspective on the power Everything. of makeup. And Mickey. all my ums. You know, I, t- I think you're I'm be very real well strategic. Spoken. Oh my about, gosh. About it. But no know. editing necessary. Seriously. Yeah. Like, Mickey <laughs> might have a podcast of our own soon, so <laughs> right. get ready for that. We'll maybe, send you the link. Maybe, maybe we're working on it. Yeah. That one I'm talking trash. That's, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, love that's it. the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> well, we end our every episode with a little bit of trash talking that we call Locker Talk. All right. Uh oh. Yeah. Do you want to break talk. it down? What do I get to say? Yeah. Sure. So say? basically, I don't even. <laughs> Why do I always struggle with Locker Talk? <laughs> you came but up it's with just it. kind of like you know the guys talk in the locker room. We're gonna talk like just even some more truth, right? Mm-hmm. We kind of touched on the the topic we were going to discuss today about lipstick like diaries. just yeah lipstick diaries having different colors for different skin tones and really catering to that. Um, but maybe I could change it a little bit. Is there anybody that, like, when you're at the grocery store and you mm. see somebody and you're like, oh, my God, girl, I wish I could just blend out your eyeshadow. Like, <laughs> is there any trends that you just wish would go away or, like, people that you're like, wow, here's my card. Come see me. Uh, well, as far as a trend going away, uh, I realize that trends, you know, are temporary. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not really big on the whole, like, androgynous contour and highlight. Yeah. Uh, I definitely. What does that entail? That, oh, just very a like lot extreme. Of product. Okay. It's a lot of product. Right, where it's so like, the oh, cream like with the like powder on yes. top, and then like, and then you do a like a whole lot of skin yes. around your face. Oh, no. and you're wrong. I can't do it. <laughs> like, First of all, nobody like has a... time for that. Like, when do you make the time to do that? Like, if my daughter like is eating my scrape my your nail and your you makeup can. off because if you've seen it in person, it looks like that. Yes, it does. I cannot. And that's one that I've. I'm old school. Like I said, I've been with you know, do make it for almost 14 years. So it's hard for me to get behind that. I mean, I'll do it. If mm-hmm. people ask me, I'll do it. Cause it's a trend. Um, mm-hmm. and it only helps me, you know, broaden my skills. Cause some people want that, you know, yeah. to be able to, um, offer that as one of my services. But, um, that's a trend that I don't, I didn't definitely didn't jump ship to. I'm all, I've always contoured and highlighted for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, but I'm really about making it believable. Um, and just and not look so heavy, right? Like layers and layers. I mean, if you question if that's what somebody truly looks like, that's that's where I draw the line mm. personally. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to um, deviate from reality. Yes, you know, it's <laughs> I know so. You know, I worked with this guy, and um, not that this matters, but he was a straight guy doing makeup, and I hired him because he had this charismatic personality, super handsome, and was an artist. Like mm-hmm. he could draw like nobody, and. Um, Part of the interviewing process is to do a makeover. 
And I said, okay. He's like, I don't do makeup, so I don't really like when I go, you know what? How about this? I'm going to do one side and you do the other side. Copy. Yeah. So he, and he aced it. And it's rare to be able to match, match somebody else's work because it's a different hand, you know, different eye. So he did such an incredible job. Um, and I completely forgot where I was going with the story. I totally drew a blank. But just with the contour and um, reality and believable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that, <laughs> that figured it out for you. If <laughs> you can't make it believable, then But yeah, he did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, I just like to make people look like themselves, yeah. you know. And well, well, but what, it was, what I was actually going to say is that a girl who does that, normally does that, very prominent makeup came in one day without it and he legitimately did not recognize her at all helped the whole encounter didn't call her by her name or anything because he didn't recognize her and i was all oh girl see i can't have all that yeah you know what i think about i mean maybe it's my dirty little mind but um you know if you're one of those people that wears so much product like you know where it's layers and layers on end and i think about sex or just you know like your when face is sliding off and it's... You know what I mean? Or like, hello, you're, you're at a guy's home and you're, you know, doing your thing and his pillows look like, like yep. they were just, I don't even Drag know. Drag through the dirt. Exactly. You know? like, <laughs> like, how do you comfortably You just turn it over. When you're... <laughs> worried about your face getting smushed into a pillow and your whole makeup and eyes and everything coming off and then you spend the night and you wake up in the morning and like what do you walk of shame you know his preference i don't get me wrong like i love like when we go to a concert i will pull out all those draggy tricks and like beat my whole face yeah, down right like, i pull out glitter and everything yeah, i can yeah, pull out that sure. i don't get to normally nor i wouldn't normally do on a day-to-day basis right. and i understand that there's people that are extremely or maybe people have picked them apart so they use makeup to mask, mask. things yeah. that maybe people yeah. have drugged them down for That's true. so i understand that but i but for and i you know makeup is fun it, it is really, fun at the end of the day it's really it's fun it can be transformative or it can be enhancing or, and if you don't want to wear any at all, I mean, that's beautiful too. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that it's, it's, it's preference. And I think that there's a time and there's a place for different looks and, uh, makeup is an accessory, you know, to the rest that's of your outfit like to to and it, it should, you know, if you're dressed, I mean, think about this, if you, it's, it's kind of changed a little bit, but if you go back, think about Kim K back. Yeah, back, way back, you know, and when she was in a glamorous gown, you know, her makeup matched that. And if she was in a, you know, sweatsuit and what her makeup matched that, you mm-hmm. know, and so it really is a part of your, your overall, look. your overall look. So I think that, mm-hmm. you know, I'm wearing a hooded sweater and I'm not going to personally go full glam, full glam, beat full my face. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to look like I'm in a hooded sweater, but, yeah. um, but if I go to work and I'm wearing a nice dress and my hair is curled and I, I want it mm-hmm. to match that, I feel like they should all kind of, they go, go hand together. in hand. For sure. Um, and time and place right. go hand in hand as well. And age appropriate goes right. hand in hand, you know. I think, you know, I've Too seen much some, highlight on mature skin is uh, not uh, good. Yeah, right, you right. Know? You know, and so, but, but I'm also about like, I mean, hey, if you're about to go out, go out how you want to. How you want to go well, that's out. that's what I was going to say so, too is like, unfortunately probably in the privacy of my home i've contoured the shit out of my face and been like yes i tried it you know like <laughs> you just want to try it because right. it's yeah, trendy yeah i don't particularly love kim kardashian west or whatever but she's trendy and yeah. it's fun to see like yeah. what she's doing and like yeah. try it yeah you know? and i mean so, if you look at her i mean you can see in 2009 is when she hired probably mario or somebody whoever yep. it was her makeup changed completely yeah. like mm. right then mm-hmm. from before but it just i mean I like to just empower everybody and just be open, I guess. Be open to um, different looks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, That's we both awesome. have daughters. I want to end this wonderful episode on a note of just how you talk to your daughter about makeup. Because Ooh, when you mentioned that point. makeup is an accessory, especially when Simone was super curious about uh, Mrs. My Daughter, who's 11, um, during my time when I was cheering, just wanting to try makeup. She's seen me putting all this stuff on and I really didn't want her being totally caught up into the look. And I was just like, just like my uniform, just like my pom-poms, the makeup is like part of my uniform. It's just an accessory, kind of the same philosophy. And I didn't want her to 
have any sort of like I need this to be beautiful I didn't want that planted in her mind at all but it's just like you said more of an enhancement but how do you talk to your daughter her daughter is adorable (laughs) so so wonderful so she is a makeup artist for mom so she definitely loves makeup Mm -hmm. um it's she loves makeup and she's pretty good at it actually so she's a dancer oh my gosh, and she... she's had to do her own makeup a couple times makeup. for her pictures okay so she's pretty versed but you know she doesn't wear it outside like to mm-hmm. go anywhere she's eight years old so i'm not gonna let right. her go full beat anywhere <laughs> like i'm like no, no even though she wants to um one thing is that i try to focus on is really pitching it to her because yours is more a part of an out, your outfit. And for me, um, it's either my job or it's an, I really look at it as an artistry, artistry. form. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I don't want to stop her from ever feeling like she can't express herself through, through it. it. Because it's definitely That's like awesome. she likes to do masks on herself. She's not that great. I mean, mm-hmm. she will maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> but she likes to experiment with mm-hmm. it. And she's gotten pretty good, you know, and likes to try and stuff like that. But I really just focus on, like, how beautiful she is naturally and mm-hmm. how that is just a fun part of dressing up. Mm-hmm. And gotcha. it's not something that, you know, you don't wear out. Mommy wears it because it's part of her job. Mm-hmm. I have to wear it to work. Um, and then on my days, you know, when I go out, I just feel comfortable with covering a couple of things. Mm-hmm. And if when you get old enough, you feel like you mm-hmm. want to cover a couple mm-hmm. of things I can show you how to do that right. um, but in the meantime you can do it for fun in ho- at home whenever you want and it's not it's not a necessity for anybody in life it's just something we like to, to do, do for, for fun, fun. yeah awesome. it doesn't define you and yeah. your beauty but yeah. it's a fun hobby yeah to and have, it can define you know? your artistry you know yeah, and, that's and awesome. it be creative you know put if you want to draw flowers down your arm and have a sleeve go for it you know and <laughs> right, that's cute. Right. do whatever you want with it just mm-hmm. be fun with it and don't, don't think that you it's not necessary part of your life it's a fun part of your life cute what a wonderful philosophy <laughs> Thank it's just so fun yeah. I guess it's fun Thanks it comes making... right off anytime somebody's I'm like girl if you don't like to it comes off let's yeah we could do that it again serious. right yeah. that's serious you know let me try yeah. well we hope that you come back and do a YouTube video with us yeah that would be oh fun. my gosh that I would love to so oh man <laughs> yes Thank you so much, Mickey. Thank you. Such Thank a you. pleasure. Thanks Wonderful. for coming to Sunnyside, Washington. Yeah. It is sunny. <laughs> it is sunny. It's super sunny. Yeah, yeah. We actually did this whole episode outside in her wonderful backyard. <laughs> yeah, that's how beautiful and, and peaceful and quiet it is here. It is. It really yeah. is. Come yeah. see Mickey at the Yakima Mall. Yep. Yakima Mac. Valley Mall at Mac. Yep. There you go. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yay. Thanks for listening to the Pro Cheerleading Podcast. Please subscribe, leave a comment, or review. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, all at Pro Cheerleading Podcast. And also on Twitter at Pro Cheer Podcast. This is Brittany. And Makiba. Until next time. Keep your eyes on the sidelines.